Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about adding info cards to your YouTube videos. So if you want to add an info card, which basically allows you to link to different videos, playlists, or external sites that may be relevant at certain intervals in the video, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about creating one. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is select the editor button on the left side. And then underneath video editor, you want to select where it says info cards and the plus button and select either a video, playlist, channel, or third party link. You can select any of these options in here. I'm just going to say a link. So I'm just going to say google.com and I'm going to select apply. And then at this point, you have to go ahead and enter in the card title. So you can do example, for example. And if you had a call to action when you hover over that title, And then finally, you can also add a teaser text that would appear. So now at this point on the left side, you can see what the preview looks like. So you can see the teaser text is what shows up on the screen. If you click on the little info circle, it'll give you the example for the call to action under the link here. So it'll tell you what it is. And then you would select save. You can adjust the time duration of this info card as well by going up where it says link card. You can delete whatever's in here and adjust the minutes, seconds, and frame count that you want this to appear in the video at. And then you would select save once you saved it. You would need to also include an image. So you'd have to select a little pencil icon here and you can select a JPEG, PNG, or GIF, or GIF. And then at this point you can upload a JPEG or PNG file by selecting the select file button and then you can upload it and then you would have a thumbnail preview here. And that's pretty much all you have to do once you clicked on save and that would be it. So pretty straightforward process guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.